When Sonia was born and I first held her in my arms, I immediately realized I was holding much more than a little clump of flesh and bones. I knew that even though I could point at the little body and say, this is Sonia, that was not the full story. My life locked on a new target, and I could say that my new center of gravity weighed a little over six pounds, and at the same time, I could say that it weighed more than my entire life put together. I could say that I loved that wiggly lump of fat, but that what I loved about it was at the same time in and beyond that clump. I instinctively knew that there was a reality much greater than the hint that my eyes showed me, but that didn't make what my eyes showed me any less real. A couple of years later, Eric was born, and it happened all over again, only this time I was a little bit more prepared, but never so prepared as to take the awe out of it. If anything, having already experienced it with Sonia made it so that with Eric I was even more awestruck. Now Sonia is 21 and Eric is 18. Many years have passed and I still love them. Not less, but more. Their bodies are no longer those of little babies. They have grown and developed their own personalities. I talk to them. I laugh with them. I cry with them. We have fun times together and sometimes disagreements. I hug them. I kiss them. I bless them. I love them. I am fully aware that when I, we hug, I truly hug them. When I kiss, I truly kiss them. But I am also aware that there is much more to them than that body I hug, much more to them than that face I kiss. That is who they are, and yet they are more. As a father, I don't just believe, I know that Eric's six foot frame is Eric, and yet that only starts to describe him. As a father, I don't just believe, I know that when Sonia hugs me and says, I love you, daddy, the one who loves me is much more than those arms around me. They know me and they use their senses to learn about me. Yet, their knowledge cannot be expressed in colors or sizes. They love me, and they use their bodies to express their love to me. Yet, their love cannot be measured in grams or ounces. As humans that we are, we are the blend of a body and a spirit, and one is always with the other. When you hug the body, you hug the spirit. When you kiss the body, you kiss the spirit. When the spirit knows you, the body reflects that knowledge. When the spirit loves you, the body bonds in that love. As humans that we are, our true self is not our body. But our true self is not our spirit either. Our true self is the blend between the two. We are not just a body. Animals are that. We are not just a spirit. Angels are that. We are not an embodied spirit or a spiritualized body. We are body and spirit. As humans, we cannot have one without the other. 
and in everything that we do that is truly human, both body and spirit have an essential role. In worship, as our souls reach up to God, our hands and our voices also reach up to Him. In friendship, as we offer our prayers to support the afflicted, we also offer our shoulder. In marriage, for our souls to join each other, our bodies will also join. I want you to meditate on what, for you, it means to be human. I want you to meditate on how your body and your soul, as a single unit, lead you to fully live as human, as you love and as you pray, as you laugh and as you mourn, as you give and as you receive, as you hope and as you believe.